All right, so we are doing factoring with the AC method. And basically we're, we're looking at our equations that start and have the AX squared plus BX plus C. And we're gonna take our letters from A and C. So what we have here is X squared minus X minus 20. So our A is going to be one and our C is going to be negative 20 and then our B will be negative one. So A times C is gonna get us one times our negative 20 which gets us negative 20 and we're trying to get to negative one. So we're gonna start listing our factors. So our first factor we're gonna list is one and 20. And basically we're looking to get our sign straightened out here. So our bigger number has to match the sign of our B. So it's going to be negative 20 will go with negative one. So negative 20 times positive one gets me negative 20. So my signs are good over here. And when I add them, or basically because they're opposite signs or different signs, we're going to take the difference. We get 20 minus one, which is 19. Keeping the sign of the bigger will get us negative 19. It's not the right number, but the sign is correct. 20 also divides by two. So two times negative 10 will get me negative 20. When I add them, I get to negative eight. Three will not go in there, but four will divide evenly into 20. So 20 divided by four will get us five, which makes that the negative five. When we multiply those, we get to negative 20. When we add them, we get to negative one, which is what we're looking for. When we have a one out front, we can take our two numbers right here and we can go straight to our answer, which is gonna get us x plus four times x minus five. And that's all you have to do. So let's go look at this one over here with our x squared plus x minus 72. So again, a times c trying to get us to b. Our a will be one times c, which is negative 72, trying to get to our b, which will be one. So negative 72 trying to get to one. So one and 72, our b is positive this time, so that'll make our bigger number positive and we'll have a negative on our one because we have negative 72 up here. So negative one times 72 is negative 72. When I add them, I get positive 71. That's the right sign, but not the right number. So 72 is also divisible by two. So negative two times 36 is 72. When I add them, I get to 34. 72 divides by negative three and I get 24. So when I combine those, I will get 21. So negative four goes into 72, and that will go in 18 times. When I add them, I get to 14. And five won't go in, but six will. So negative six times 12 gets me 72. When I add them, I get to six. And then negative eight times nine is 72. When I add them, ah, there's my one. So again, I can go straight to my answer with these two values. So x minus eight, x plus nine. And that is all you have to do to factor with the AC method with a one out front. Now what happens if we don't have a one out front? If we don't have a one out front, like these two problems here, we have to do it a little bit differently, but we're still going to do our AC method. So we're still going to have A times C getting us to B, but in this case we have seven times negative two, which will get us negative 14 trying to get to negative five. So negative 14, trying to get to negative five, I use one and 14 because my B is negative, my 14 is negative. So one times negative 14 is negative 14. When I add them, I get to negative 13. Not quite right, but the sign is right. So two times negative seven gets me negative 14. When I add those, I get negative five and that's what I'm looking for. So again, I need to take these two numbers and use them, but this time what I'm gonna do is split my middle term up. So I'm going to have my 7x squared and then it'll be plus 2x minus 7x from our numbers right here and then minus 2. So basically all I'm doing is rewriting my 5x with 2x and 7x. Split it down the middle. We're doing factoring by groupings. We're taking four terms and grouping them into groups of two. So I can factor out an x out front GCF part here, and we get 7x plus 2. Bring down my minus. Between 7x and 2, only thing I can factor out is a 1, and I get 7x minus 2. 
So then I look to see, oh, do these match? And we're like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This does not quite match that because my sign is wrong. Negative two divided by negative one is a positive two. Okay, so now my signs match. Now I can factor out that parenthesis because they're now the greatest common between the two terms. And that leaves me with x minus one. And that's all you do. So let's go do it again over here. So here I have a times c, so six times negative 26, trying to get to a positive one, which is my b. So that gets me negative 156, trying to get to one. So that'll be one and 156. My negative will be on my one because those need to match, so I get 155. And then I can divide by two. So negative two times 78 will get me 156. And Adam, I get to 76. It will divide by negative three times 52, which will get me 49. Negative four times 39 will get me negative 156. When I add them, I get to 35. Five won't divide into it evenly, but six will. So negative six times 12, sorry, 26, will get me negative 156. And when I add them, I will get 20. And then negative 12 will go in next. 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 will not divide into 156, but negative 12 times 13 will get me negative 156. And when I add them, I get to my one I'm looking for. So again, we're going to come back up here and split our x. So we will have 6x squared minus 12x plus 13x minus 26. And then again, we've got four terms. We're going to split them in half. So in the front, I can factor out a 6x, and that'll leave me with x minus 2. Bring down my plus sign. I can factor out a 13 and get x minus 2 again. So x minus 2 times 6x plus 13.